Hi, everybody. I'm just getting my uh, iPad set up, so I'm not looking at you. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Oh. All right. Now we're ready. Hi, everybody. Oops, that's a little off. I don't want to look like that. It's Cheryl here with in my bubble at Creative Reason Flowers. And so tonight I am going to make a Halloween wreath on a orange 15 inch raised work form. I'm sorry if Lambda gets barking too much. Something's outside. And I'm going to stick. Hi, Lynn. Thank you. How are you this evening? I'm on my tea. I'm going to have to go get Lamba and bring her in because she's there. Must the cat from next door must be outside or something. She's complaining. Hold on. I'll be right back, Lynn. Lamba. Lamba, get in here. Go barking. No. Go in here with your dad. Come in. Come on. Lamba. Come on. Okay. Hopefully that calms the barking mics in the bedroom. So I stuck her in there with him. Anyway, hi Patricia. Hi Jackie. Hi Lynn and Lynn. Oh. I'm good tonight. I went out today. I don't know if you can tell. I got my hair cut. Hi, Lori. And I decided to put some color in it. I don't know. You can't see it on my webcam. I don't know how you... Oops. I get so confused. Um, this is actually like magenta. And then I put blonde highlights in it. So my great... It looked kind of yellowish. So I decided not to... Uh, not to color my whole head, but to color just a part of it. Little girl Danny at the salon. So in eight weeks, um, I might get braver and do different colors. I kind of like it. Kind of makes me feel, thanks, Lynn. It, it kind of makes me feel sassy. I told her snarky, but she said sassy, and I like that word better. So Tonight I'm going to make a Halloween wreath. On the 15 inch raised cork form, that's orange. I'll turn you down this way for a minute so you can see it. And um, we're going to hope that Lamba decides not to bark anymore. She's with my. I'm using, I'm going to use this. It's uh, orange, purple, and black poly deco. And um, I'm going to do this um, on the wreath, both upper and lower, um, in the 10 inch poof method. And then I don't know if you can see them, but I've cut it all up. And I'm going to use, I'm going to put purple in all the ties. They, this is 10 inch mesh, top, uh, metallic, because I, I have to sparkle. And actually, I've been wearing glitter like for the last three days. It's like, hi, Jace, thanks. Anyway, um, I used a complete roll. The last one, hi, Linda. The last ruffle or one of the ruffles is a tad short of 20 and I'm going to try to put it on the top where the hat will be. I'll show you that in a minute. But after we put on our mesh, I have four different ribbons I'm using. Let's see if I can get them shown to you. I have a green polka dot, a jute with black and orange. They're all wired by the way. An orange chevron, and I had to go with four ribbons because I did not realize the role of these witches hats, which I got at Old Time Pottery, and for some reason only bought one roll, was not a 10-yard roll like I normally buy from Craft Outlet. It was shorter than that, so I couldn't do all of these, um, all the witches hats because the roll wasn't long enough. Um, so anyway, we're going to alternate those on all of our, our ties. I have two things of them come together. They are all cut at 12 inches. And um, because I could have gone 14, but I wasn't sure when I only had the one roll of witches hat how much I'd have left. So I didn't want to. So. 
the purple was attached to its little roll with um, staples. This is a witch's hat. It is in green. It's purple with green, orange, and black on it. I got that through Craft Outlet. I'm thinking I got this maybe at Old Time Pottery. I'm not really sure where I picked it up. It might have been Craft Outlet. Um, it's a little sign that says, Happy Halloween. It's a little metal sign. And then, digging in what I had, and I just have a few of these. I have a couple of uh, styro, oh, it's hard to show you. A couple of styrofoam pumpkins that we might put on it. These I'm not sure until we get done. Um, I have some foam, little foam, I'm not holding that very well for you, a little foam pumpkin head. And I have one purple spider, which I don't know if that'll work on this wreath or not. It may be too purple for it to stand out. And then several little foam orange spiders. And we may put those on at the end. I'm not sure yet. I didn't get a glue gun out. I do, I'm trying to use this now because I learned a very valuable lesson over Memorial Day that hot glue will, I, I have this thing about it has to be flat. I do that with the toothpaste too. I don't know if you guys do or not, but I do. Hi, Sherry. I didn't see you sneak in there. Anyway, I'm using this Gorilla Glue because I couldn't find any DAP. Um, and this is supposed to bond quick. And I also got out some floral wire and my wire cutters. I've got zip tie holders if we need it. Trusty snips. And that's what we'll be using tonight. Um, I put it up there for you. I thought Laura was going to be here. I sent her a list. She'll probably come in later. I don't know if she goes up to camp tonight or not. So she may be, be traveling. I'm just going to go ahead and open my bottom ties up and then we'll get started. I'm going to have to move those decorations though because the way my table's set up, I roll from the right side. A lot of people do it from the left, but due to room constrictions, I do from the right. So we're going to move all this off so my roll can go over there. So here by me. And we will turn our camera down. There you go, sorry, you're getting on top of my tea glass. Thank you, Linda, I appreciate it. Hi, Mildred. Hi, Kristen. Hey, if you guys would just go in, like, and share, that would really make me happy. All right, we'll move the tea glass over there so it's not in your face. And I'll open this 21-inch deco, and we'll get ready to go. Oh, I know. I know something I need. I forgot to get any zip ties. Like, I had everything. I used to keep it under my table. And Lambo was starting to chew on it and take it away. So we had to move it. Even though I bought her more bully sticks. So I did forget to grab the zip ties. Unfortunately, she's... She's clawing at the bedroom door because she thinks I'm so mean. Thanks, Sherry. I'm so mean. I stuck her in the bedroom with her dad. Unfortunately, last night, Washington Capitals won the Stanley Cup because I really kind of wanted the new team, the Vegas Knights, to win. But so hockey season is finally over. Which kind of puts a big void in our TV watching. I think Mike's watching Cops. He and Ryder like Cops. He goes up there and watches it, and Ryder sings Bad Boy, Bad Boy. And, you know, when you move your supplies around, things just get out of control. So if Jace is still here, I'm sure he knows that. Because you start losing things that you're used to being in other places. And I was thinking I didn't need scissors, but I do. So I'm untaping this carefully. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get up one more time. And I'm going to get my scissors. Mike's supposed to build me a board somewhere. I don't know where he's going to put it to put all my tools on. But So 
someday I'm going to have an actual room. That's my dream. An actual craft room. Anyway, on this 15-inch uh, raised form, there are 10 ties on the bottom, <clears throat> pardon me, and 8 ties on the top. And like I said, I'm just going to, it may fall off. If it falls off, no big deal. We'll try. We're just going to gather it at the bottom to start it. I'm going to stick it in through this tie, but I'm going to take my zip tie, I'm going to get my little grippers here, I'm going to take my zip tie and I'm going to tie it here, and I'm not going to tie this tie until we come back around to the beginning. Oh no, I think Melinda's home, her and Ryder went to the splash pad, so she doesn't realize I'm online, so I'll have to tell her when she comes in. Anyway, and also, oh, you're going to go to Atlanta? Are you going to a craft store down in Atlanta? Did you get to craft stores? Um, she's in the bedroom. I'm live. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's going to come out. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I was talking to Lori. Oh, craft, craft places. Yeah. I know when I got to Old Time Pottery, I thought I was in Disneyland. I was so excited. Hi, sweetheart. I'm I just need him so I yeah. can sit my car. Come over here. Come here and see. No, come see Grandma. Oh, sure, my grandson. I can you see him walking around in the back? Hi, Laura. <laughs> uh, you know I would, but you know what? I don't. It's not set up that way. I wish I could. This is this is Ryder. I show you. This is Mr. Ryder. Can you say hi? He's 19 months old. Come here. Yeah. Guess he wants mom. Well, earlier today when they were going out, he came down through, and before she got to the door, he opened the door and let let himself and my dog out. I'm like, uh, no, guys, because my garage door was open, so. They just kind of went on a little vacation for a bit by themselves, but they thought they were having great time. So, man, he's not down here very often. He likes to play habit with stuff, so. All right, and after I get that two ties on it like that to hold it down, I'm just going to cut this tail off so it is not in our way. And I'm sorry about uh, kind of bombing you with the links yesterday but I did get the uh, my four reads that I'm gonna that I, I gotta put on Etsy um, of my military line that I finished I know I yeah those must be new I, I hadn't seen those thank you guys I I just love him he is the best don't play with grandma's paper can you move so grandma can put her stuff over there hey actually he calls me mamma and the only way he calls me Mama is we have to sing to bad boys, right? Right, Ryder? We sing Mama, Mama, and then he'll usually repeat it. But now he's got that binky in his mouth. That's his uh, comfort zone, I think. Uh, you should bring Grandpa's phone back. I'll tell you, Mom. He's got, he's got your dad's phone. Hey! And so I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I can't do the one, two, three. I love those days. But I... Hey, he's he's upset. She took the phone away. Right or that's okay. You can go upstairs with Ben. Go upstairs. Okay, give me. Okay. Go upstairs, Ryder's. You just want to come with the splash pad? Yeah, there's a lot of people there. What's up? What's up, package? Go go with Mama. Up oh, there we go. They live upstairs, and I live downstairs. So. Oh, were you trying to get on the computer? Are you on Mike's computer or your computer? Anyway, I have my board and my mat here. And I'm just going to kind of eye it and go down 10 inches. And then I'm going to take it and put it in my tie. And we're going to tie it once. I was, sorry about that, guys. I knew they were coming home. They went to a splash pad to, to splash around. They've got, they just opened a new one 
here in Bellevue, so they had to go check it out. Because that's very hot today. It was very warm when I went to get my hair cut at one, so. Like I said, I'm just going to do 10 inch poofs. And the ties are, I don't know if I, I don't know if I got this one from Craft Outlet or I either ordered from Carolina Pottery or Sims. Uh, but right when Reforms came back, we, um, I ordered a bunch. In fact, Lori was live. And what I did, yes, they're home downstairs. What I did is I, uh, went on during her live and ordered a bunch of reforms so I could have them because, of course, you know, we couldn't find them. And I'm not really used to using, I don't know what they call this, but I'm not used to using the big fat ties. I usually use pencil ties because that's what they get here. At, I usually get them at Joann's that I've always wanted to use because pencil ties are kind of prickly. Cannot. You want to make sure you're you want to poop them out, so you want to make sure your seams are on the bottom, but that seam was, like, way out. I haven't done a lot of poofs, but... Anyway. So, I forget to keep looking. Oh, you still have your mom's? I'm sorry, I, I keep, I got, I don't know. My children, my oldest one is 34, and that's my Jennifer, and she lives in Kansas. My son is going to be 32 in August, and he lives about five miles from me, bought a house over in another subdivision. And then Melinda, her husband, Nick, and my grandson, Ryder, we have a split level. We live on the bottom. That's why I have small space, because we were in our RV, and due to situations, medical situations, I had to come back in the house for a while. And um, so they live upstairs, and then we, we have a living room and a bedroom down here. And, well, we, we put a microwave and a burner plate and, of course, my coffee pot in the laundry room with the washer and dryer, and we have a full-size fridge there that Jenny left when she went to Kansas. So that's because she was living in here until last fall. Usually, well, what we had done before is we go down to Panama City Beach uh, for the for the winter, not this last winter, but the winter before. And uh, I love it, but it was so humid. And of course, at that time, I didn't know I was having problems with my with my breathing issues. So maybe that was part of it. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll have to try it again. So, but we went and, and stayed the winter down there and got out of the snow a couple of years ago. And that part was nice. But it was so hot and humid. We had to run the air conditioner all winter in the trailer to keep things from getting moist. I've never done that before, being from the Midwest. I mean, you know, you don't run air conditioners in the middle of the winter. So, I mean, I've lived in places where we've had to use heat all year round because we lived in Iceland for a couple of years, but never ever have I lived where it's hot all the time. So that was a, a new experience for both Mike and I. But his parents have a hookup right at their beach house, which, well, it's two and a half blocks from the beach. So we just went and hooked our trailer up and stayed with them from, well, we went down in November. They don't come down to the first of January. But we went down in November and then came back at uh, the end of March because uh, I was ready to come back, because Ryder was only two months old when we left, so I was ready to get back, see my baby. But then we want to move to Missouri, so I don't know how that's, if I'm going to be able to do that or not, because I don't know if I can leave him. He's kind of precious. So he's the only one I have. And I kind of like being a grandma. Maybe... We're here all the time, so it's a little different, but I kind of like when I get, you know, kind of like, don't want to handle it anymore, I can give him back. <laughs> Your favorite is a ruffle? Yes, I'm doing, I'm doing a poof, and then I'm putting a ruffle on. I got, 
10 inch deco I cut in 20 inch lengths. And uh, I like, I'll tell you one, one of the things I like is I like the bubble poof like Lori did, I believe. Was it the last line? She did a bubble poof. I really like that. The first time she did that method, I immediately went and bought Red and Ryder is now the proud owner of Elmo, who is, well, do you, the bubble, oh, the bubble method, you do it just like this, except you do it on a box form and you scoot them right together. You don't poof them out. Bubble poof. Is that, is that, I call it the bubble. But it made an excellent Elmo. I like the one you did of the rubber duck or the little yellow duck. That wasn't cool. Cool. And if you'll notice, if you look at my Etsy page, I have updated it with those four reads. I have several more I need to sit down and work on. I worked on Etsy yesterday until my brain gave up. It was just like, no more. Um, but uh, I have several. I'm getting ready to list my Christmas line. I figured if I'm a, I'm a business, we'll just pretend like we're a department store and we'll have different lines. Oh, I have no idea what that said. Sorry. Something came up on the top of my thing. So, but anyway, so I want to do uh, Halloween and fall, and then I'll, I have several uh, Christmas trees already, and I just have to get them photographed, and I kind of had to get on to my photographer. I could have taken them uh, with my iPhone, and was I, Michael, if I was getting all the craft stuff, he needed a toy too, so he got a new, he hasn't had a new camera, he got stolen when we lived in Iceland, because um, we had to carry it in the car all the time, because of the, uh, what do you call that? You know, the farm you have to declare what's in your car, or what's with you, and so then every time you go somewhere, if you're going off base, you have to have those items in your car. Okay. I'm just going to say real quick to um, go up to the top bar. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight up here. And I'm going to take, yeah. we'll take one of our little zip ties. And we're going to go in through here and attach it to the top rung. And I'm, I'm doing it on, let's see. I guess I can do it on the left side. I was thinking I'd do it on the right, but we'll do it on the left. And then I'm just going to zip tie it here, and I'm pulling it tight. I don't know if y'all can, you can't see. I'm just pulling it tight up to the next, to the top row, top bar. And we're going to fight with the zip tie. Maybe. This is where, oh, I have it back. This is where Michael comes in handy because sometimes my hands don't always exactly do what I want them to do. He may laugh, but he's pretty good at cutting things for me and helping me with my floral wire. When I I can't see it when I get it in the breeze. So we get out the lights and he's been working real hard for me trying to get my organization storage area out, out in the garage set up. I'm so proud, happy. He, and he had bought, we had found some lights, uh, box lights at Habitat for Humanity Restore. And we had stored them. Because he does, he likes, when we have the space, he likes to do aquariums. And he thought those would be good aquarium lights. Well, instead of storing them, because I can't really see in the dark, he put three box lights out in my storage area so that I can see the colors. Because otherwise, I don't see them right. We get some funky stuff. Now I'm going to open this tie, and starting from that point, I'm just going to pull through six in, or ten inches, and put it in not that tie. We'll get that when we come back around. I'm just going to put it in this tie right here. But. So. What, the bubble poop method? There's a lot of things you can do that I, like I thought with burlap you didn't decorate. Silly me. You can put decorations on a burlap wreath. 
it's funny the things that you learn just by just you know watching other people because you'll think oh you wouldn't do that I mean when I first started I did not use ribbons at all because I couldn't get them to, to manage the work and uh, I'm not used to the ties being this close anyway now I, I am using ribbon and I am going to put ribbon on every tie tonight not just the bottom or not just the top or not so selected ones ribbon is is becoming more my friend so that's a good thing because in the past ribbon's been my enemy and I'm gonna get out my Provo <clears throat> especially coming up here with Christmas and fall because I want to start really learning how to make the bows so I would like that I think I'm going to attempt a terry bow. I've never done that. I saw six pieces of rib or six different ribbons and freaked out. So I've only made smaller bows, but I'm going to actually try the terry bow. Everybody says it's simple. I'm like, okay, if you say so. I mean, everybody, I guess, has one thing that doesn't work well for them. And ribbons and bows are my, my weakness. I can't wait till I get a bigger table. And I do have, um, I do have ribbon mesh holders, but when you're working with just one piece of mesh, I find it easier to just let it go where it wants and do what it wants. So, it may fall off the table, it may not, I don't know. Anyway, hope everybody I'm telling you, ribbon is expensive. Depending, like I said, I didn't think the witch ribbon was bad, but then I realized that the roll isn't 10 yards like the other ones. Oh, this is not working. It's not behaving for me. So I hope everybody had a good day today. It was warm here. And it's, I like real sparkly, shining ribbon. And I like to uh, have the cute little fancy patterns. I could spend a fortune on ribbon. I really could. I'm, I've got a good, I didn't have ribbon. And then I started buying it every time like I go to Craft Outlet to get up to that free shipping point. And I would just buy, I know you love her. I would just buy the um, excess that I needed, you know, after I had what I actually needed. I'd buy it in ribbon. And Mike's very encouraging. Because if he sees ribbon, he likes to tell me to buy it. So you don't have a problem with them. Sometimes we spend too much money, but he doesn't ever stop me. So I have to try to stop myself. I, I do get, a lot, I have lots of mesh and lots of ribbon, and now lots of, I didn't think I had signs when you guys, when we were organizing, he had absolutely put things in boxes and bags that I didn't know, and uh, I had a lot more than I thought, I had to get more pegboards, because pegboards are excellent, thank you Jace, you're still here. Jace did his new craft room and, and put things on pegboards. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is the best idea. And right now, Mike's trying to make something to, to hang all my wreath forms up on because I have I have a lot of 18 inch box forms. Excuse me, I know this is running. I have a lot of 18 inch box forms that they're not raised, they're box. But I normally use a 14. But when I got my deal on all the stuff, she used 18 inch ones, so I have a multitude of them. I may list some on my Etsy at a really good price because I probably, it would take me years to use them. So somebody else might, might as well have them, and then if I ever do get a different house and move, I won't have to move them. We're almost around to the end, which is good. Uh, 
Yeah, I have lots of reform. I'm running out of the port. I usually use a 14 inch box reform when I use a, a box, um, a platform, and uh, I'm running out of those kind of. Those make it, I think those are easier for me to make them so they fit within a kind of screen door. Do you? Yeah, this, I actually bought this table. The reason I bought it was because we were in our RV and due to my, the way I walk and stuff, which is, a, well, it's better now. But anyway, um, we had taken the table out because we had a C-shaped table in the, the trailer, you know, that breaks down and then makes a bed, which we didn't tell anybody to do that because we really didn't want anybody to stay in the trailer with us. It's only 22 foot. And um, then we needed a table every so often. So this one folds in the middle and goes and it's really easy to store. And um, so I bought, I can't remember, I was trying to think before I came on. Did I buy this at Walmart or did I buy this at Amazon? I just know I bought it online. We're back to where we started on the top. So we are going to pull that over and push this over. Tie. But yeah, that's I actually bought it for the trailer. So when I started doing this, I said, hey, Mike, you know that table we bought for the trailer? That was, was in the garage. I go, that's going to be excellent. Anyway, and it sits right here in front of my couch, so it's good. Ah, you know, I hadn't seen a big lots, and then after I had my surgery, I found one downtown by the hospital. Because ours had gone under here, I guess. I'm going to cut this right about there. Give myself a little tail. This is how much of the 21-inch um, mesh I used. You can, I'll show you in a minute here. I'm trying to wrap it up. I still have this much left, so I could do another wreath, no doubt. I'm just going to sit it down there. I'm going to take my... Eh. Ah, here's one. I'm going to put this under, and I'm going to zip tie it in to hold it. And then we'll be ready to start on our... Um, 10 inch mess. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really bad tonight about looking at the comments. Usually I'm right on top of it, trying to keep up with them, but I know Laura's there, so I think that gives me some relief. She's the one that's answering questions and moderating. That I don't have to look at the screen. I can kind of concentrate. Sometimes I forget and I just take off and I get to say things. So. Poop this up. So that, that's our poof, 10 inch poof on each side. So this is what we look like so far. Now we're going to take our 20 inch long 10 inch mesh. That's hard to say. And we're just going to use do the ruffle method on it. I just put it down on my table. Find the middle spot and just ruffle it right up. And this is metallic. And I'm not sure exactly. This might have come with the stuff I got. Because it, it says right on it, Halloween mesh. So I don't think I had actually bought any. A lot. Of, she had a lot of uh, fall and Halloween stuff in the mesh and stuff I bought from Marissa. So I'm not quite positive where the mesh came from. There we go. And I'm just going to, I open my tie, I put it in my tie, I'm just going to tie my tie back a little bit. Because these ties aren't um, very long, I don't know. They're not as long as pencil ties. So. And I'm just going to put our ruffle there and kind of manipulate everything. Because we're going to go back around then and put our ribbon on each tie. So we want to make sure that we 
that we have at all. So one thing I've noticed about the purple mesh too is that it really hasn't frayed too bad, so I kind of like it. Too bad I don't know where it came from. I moved my remote, so we'll have to use the blue. So is anybody else? Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Carmelo. Is anybody else starting their fall Halloween lines? I know I know what Laura said she's gonna work on next. She's going right to Christmas. And she made a really nice heart a really nice Harley Davidson wreath the other day. And that's one thing if your hand doesn't dress, but you can always go back and, and re-ruffle it. I do that a lot. And if I'm working with more than one, I will get out my bow dabber and use it to hold my ruffles for me or my curls because otherwise I would probably never, I can't, I can't do it like the other people that just stick it on their fingers. My fingers go, oh, let's throw it away. Yeah. Are you doing a fall one tonight, Kristen? Thank you, Judy. I thought these two colors would go good together. I like it a little fuller than just a poo. If I do ruffles, I'll do the 30 inch or a 20 inch. Or if I do a 15 inch, I'll put two on. And if I do a 10 inch, I usually put three on each tie. Because I, I like them fuller. I don't like to see the ring so much. Even with the ring, the color of the, the one of the meshes or whatever, it's okay. But I'd rather not see through it if I don't have to. Oh, wow, that's a good deal. You know, I'm not sure exactly what was on sale today because uh, I'm kind of, like I said, on the spending cruise because I, I found a lot of surprises. It was kind of like Christmas Day when we started taking stuff that might get stuffed in bags and in boxes. But um, I, I got a message today or maybe from Joanne's or from somebody on Facebook that said, I believe they had... I don't know if it was spring or if it was patriotic. I got rusty. My cat's cramping. Um, but um, it was 70 to 75 percent off, and that's what I did at the end of last year, at, well, when I started, because I started right before Christmas, so I kind of like wiped them out. Ah, uh, that's that's a good deal, Sherry. That's kind of like when this little gal said she she told because she went to school with my youngest daughter and she was telling her that she had some stuff but I wanted would I be interested in it and I looked at it and so, so um so I just said yeah I'll just take the whole lot off your hands some stuff she still had because she had a garage sale and I saw and I wanted to go back and get the decorations but then I forgot because she had good prices on it but I, I got a good deal on it and I mean I wouldn't have near as much as I have if I did that <laughs> you know that happens for sometimes I just go no put it the way I spelled it it's close enough because I don't like the way the computer spelled it thought about turning it off but I'm not that great a speller so my, my, my talent is more in the numbers than the letters, so. Yeah, I, well, somebody, I it must have been on Facebook, said 70 to 75% off. I love those sales. Let me tell you what, Kristen. 
do not let me go into a Joann's when they have one of those sales because, you know, I don't know. The last time I was in there, I went in for, and I was very proud of myself because that's all I got. I needed to get more ribbon because, you know, I didn't have enough, or, or I wanted a different color. I wanted a brown. And uh, so I looked at Hobby Lobby and really didn't find anything I liked. So I went to Joann's and I actually walked out with just a roll of ribbon. Oh, I'm sorry, and straight pins because I decided that, hi, Tina. I decided that um, I was going to put straight pins in my uh, in my ribbon rolls to, to hold them. I tried rubber bands, but it made my ribbons all crinkly. And since I'm not good with the ribbons anyway, I figure one less crinkly. And that was before I heard the suggestion of using um, masking tape, which I have a lot of painters to because we had redone the house a couple of years ago, so we bought a bunch of it. So I use it for various things. I have it on my boards down here to help me because my board only goes to 24 and I like to cut 30 inches. So if I line up the board right, I have a blue mark here and a blue mark down there. And then I get my uh, 30 inches and I don't have to you know, cut as much. So. Unless, of course, I'm doing 30 inch. So I would love to have a huge table that I could, like, lay it down and make three or four cuts. You like fall, do you, Laura? I, I like fall. I think it's my favorite season because it's, you know, it's cooling off. And you can tell this is, was the end of the roll. So if I was doing curls, that'd be wonderful. But I'm doing ruffles, so. Ruffles. But. I'm getting better with my ruffles, though, because I, I, I think at first I wasn't spreading my fingers out or something. And, um. Now I'm getting my fingers spread out better so they can make a little bit better ruffle. It's amazing how things just come easier to you as you go along. It's also amazing how other people go, oh, it's so nice. And you go, I wonder if they're really telling the truth. You know? You're like, oh, my. I wonder if they're telling the truth or if they're just being nice. Because you're, you're always your own worst critic. You might think something's terrible. And somebody will go, I just love that. That's just perfect. And I'm like, really? Hey. But. It's tiring. It's what it's kind of looking like. I don't know if you guys can really. Oh, I don't know. I don't like the way that the color is on the computer. Oops, kind of changed. And that's just even my hat here. Anyway. Is anybody participating in the Etsy birthday sale? It should be next week, right? I think it is. Can't remember. Oh, we, we really are boring. It's terrible. Even Michael said, oh, I like that. I'm like, no, no, that's not right. He fusses at me all the time because I take things apart and put them back. And I said, that's just me, honey. Or, you know what really irritates me is when he comes down and sees something and he tries to, like, rearrange it like he would like. And I'm like, no, do not touch it. My art, not yours. Busted at him. I told him I'm going to teach him how to make these. He's going to have to help me. And he said, no. He'll do the constructing. He'll do the cutting of woods and things like that. But he said he wouldn't make them. My son-in-law volunteered. Sorry, this is kind of, just kind of caught it in the light. And it's kind of making me crazy. Gray is an enemy. I could poo poo these things forever. One day I thought I was going to trim one down. 
because I just felt like, you know, I could see the little string. So I was going to, I kept cutting and I thought, oh, this is like when I was little and used to cut Barbie's hair. It will not grow back. So trying to get better about not letting that bug me too awful much. Some people actually have said they like it when they have gray. I, I don't know why. But it's good because then you don't have to worry about it. You know, I have, for my, maybe my next one, I don't know. I have a brown. I can't see the roll now. I think it's uh, similar to the poof I did, but it's orange and brown and maybe two. I can't remember exactly. But maybe it's gold and brown and orange. I think that would make a fantastic... Um, of course, it's 21 inch, so. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it would make a really pretty um, ball read. Lots of black mesh. There's lots of black mesh. 21 inch. Most of the mesh were 21 inch, but if you're working with an 18 inch form, I mean, that makes sense. But. And now they've come out with things where you can just take the 21 inch and cut it and fold it in half. I don't know if that's something new I saw. I have to play with that. And I promise that I have some six inch ribbon mesh or whatever they call it. They promised somebody that I would look in to see how that would work. I'm thinking of quilt roofing on a 14 inch. Like you do the burlap with that size. I'm not sure if it would work. Who's it? Who's it what? I guess I should look at the comments more. I'm really getting everybody confused, or I'm getting confused. Too. Well, the poof went quick. That was a good thing. Ruffles are taking a little longer. But hopefully not too long. This is the very first Halloween wreath I've ever made. Like I said, I started for the Christmas season last year. So I had lots of Christmas and that's it. Then I did the Valentines and St. Patrick's and Mardi Gras. Which are still on my Etsy if anybody wants them. You can really tell the difference though from when you start and then as you go along. Now you almost like only have to put this on the bottom row. You didn't want to put it on the inner row, but I'm going to put it on the whole thing. Hey, Mary Jean. Thank you for sharing it all the way from Illinois. Illinois is not that far from me. I have to go through Iowa. Iowa is a boring state to drive through. Nebraska is a very boring state to start from this side on total east side and go over to the west side. Oh my goodness. Because uh, Lambo was up by, we got her up by uh, Scott City, no, not Scott City, that's where Jennifer lives. Uh, Scott's Bluff. And that's the big city. We got it from a place called Morel, which is just a very, very teeny tiny place. And never been out that way. We usually, if we're going out, we go I-80 down to Ovalala and into Colorado. But uh, this time we had to go up north, almost to Wyoming. And I've never been on the road, but I got to see Chimney Rock, which was interesting. It's not anything I would definitely just make a vacation for because it wasn't that interesting. Anyway, so I finished the bottom row. And what I'm going to do is I'm thinking this little short roll here, it was the very end of it. I am going, so it's a lot shorter than the other ones, but I didn't have, actually, I'm, I'm a bad person. I didn't have any more of this either, but I can find. So we're going to ruffle it. I'm thinking where I put this, if I can even get it to ruffle, it's so curly. Um, I'm going to put it, and then I thought, well, you know, I could place the witch hat under it or over it, so it would be okay. 
at least there's a little bit of color there because I was one piece short. And I mean, this is the end, if you can't tell. This is the very, very end of the roll. So, it is just like not wanting to work at all. But we're going to do that. And then we'll, we'll put de decorations over it to help hopefully not notice that it's a little shorter than the others. Because I thought, oh my goodness, I, you know, one short, what am I going to do? And I think this will work out for us. Mike encouraged me because I was just going to throw it away. This little piece. I said, no, no. Go ahead and use this. Okay. Sometimes, I, I used to do math really well. Sometimes my math genius doesn't work. Oh, yeah. My remote is like across the room. Michael went upstairs when they came through with the dogs because he figures he can go up there and not be behind a closed door. I've been using my glue. But that piece, that's the, you know, how you get the very last remnant piece on the thing that you just go, oh, yeah. Not using this. Well, we are. Because, you know, a lot of the forms don't have 18 ties. Some of them do. But a lot of them I use have some plus ties. So, I cut, I go 17, I go, uh-oh. I have to remember to buy everything in twos. You can't just really buy ones. And I don't like the end of the rolls that much because they're, they're better to make a curly whip because that's what they naturally want to do. But we're going to make them in ruffles. They do not get this. I will do these harder ones. The ones that are more curled. I should have done those first, but eh. We'll do them now. So Laura, let me look at let me turn the camera off. Oh no. Did it come back? Can you see my hair? Let's see. Okay. Can you see it? I highlighted and I put I think she said magenta. I don't remember. I told her I'm a real fan of teal. We might have to try that color. I don't know. I'm getting kind of sassy in my old age. First, my son-in-law was real nice. He came and found him. Sally goes, yeah, my Aunt Sally tried to do that when she was feeling old. And I hadn't even said I was feeling old. Hi, Carrie. And um, hers did, she she turned hers peach. I'm like, oh, I don't like peach. I'm going with funky far out. But I noticed when I was out under the lights on our trip, because everybody must have different lights than I do, uh, the gray was really getting prominent. It wasn't like a pretty gray. My mom got pretty gray hair. But I remember my grandma's, because my mom used to do their hair. And um, they used to have this stuff in a like gray, silvery bottle that you would squirt on people's hairs, like old lady's hair, when you washed it. And it's so so that your hair didn't have become that funny yellowy color gray. And I called them all blue heads. All right. That's okay, Sherry. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm, I, Melinda said she wanted me to go with like pink highlights. I'm like, I don't know. A little pop of color in the front's pretty good for right now. Next time we'll just trim it up again, and then at the time after that, she said it would be time to color again. So I have a little time to think about it. So I have it set up for right before um, Michael leaves for uh, Alaska to go fishing. There we go. It's hiding. And Mike's 
going to be gone in the middle of uh, July to the end of July. Well, two and a half weeks, I think. His dad is taking him and he'll come pick him up and they go up to Alaska and they go for the salmon run. And I laugh at them because they're always there. Every time they go, they're always there for a long time. I don't know how to like, see what they're predicting, dude, before you just take off. Of course, this is also the gentleman that I was trying to get to the ocean and fighting dolphins and uh, egrets for my uh, Spanish mackerel. Because we had to have so much Spanish mackerel. Because they, they come here every couple of years. Well, they weren't here this year, so I guess, yeah, next year. So there's a family reunion just north of us about two and a half, three hours in the world. And uh, my father-in-law and mother-in-law bring down fish that's been flash frozen. And uh, sorry, I was looking at comments there for a minute. I have to take a drink. Anyway, they bring it out and they do this big old fish fry. I never go up for the fish fry because, to tell you the truth, I hate fish. The only thing I eat fish is fried shrimp. I will eat a tuna salad sandwich once in a blue moon. And I will eat a salmon patty. Yeah, I, I'm telling you what, Gloria, my hair is getting so thin. It was so stringy looking before I cut it. But you know how it is. I don't have a, a purpose to cut it. I might as well just pull it back. Throw it up on my head and, you know. But, I have a reason, you know. I got friends that are looking at me. Then I might do a little something. Did you? Was it good fish, Laura? I don't. When I was younger, we used to, because I've always lived in, you know, the Midwest. And the big thing here is catfish. Catfishing and, uh, well, yeah, and I eat salmon. Um, but it has to be, if you buy it at the store without the bones, because bones are icky. And then you make it just like tuna salad, which my grandma made me every time I visited her. It really wasn't that big of a salmon salad for me. You know? um, but uh, I ate it because grandma made it. And she thought I loved it, so I wasn't able to tell her the difference. I probably did love it when I was little or something. As time went on, it wasn't my cup of tea. I used to eat fish sticks too, but you know, like, uh, what do you call Miss Paul's or whoever they are. I don't do that anymore. But uh, I like to take salmon and mush it up, and you put your eggs and your milk and your crackers in it and smash it into a patty and then. Fry it and have a salmon patty. And I'm very strange because I don't like raw cucumbers, but I like to take them like you do a zucchini and bread them and fry them too. Oh, now, Kristen, I'm sorry. I was having trouble with getting booted out of things the other day. Then the girl said, No, no, it's my feet. I go, Oh, okay. Um, but that's one of my favorite meals because. I'm not capable and don't really have the patience to go mushroom hunting anymore. We used to hunt raw mushrooms. And that's a that's a big thing. The town that's about 10 miles from where, eh, 10, 15 miles from where I uh, grew, pardon me, grew up actually has uh, mushroom festivals. And they actually, you know how they sell mushrooms? You know, you know what ones I'm talking about, right? When you go out and get, pick yourself the kind of mushrooms. And they sell them in gallon jars. So you have to buy them by the gallon or by the half gallon or quart. You don't buy them by the mushroom or the pound. It's kind of odd. That's why I like to say I'm a hillbilly man. And I was only 30 minutes from Kansas City. So that doesn't make a lot of sense that people say that. Because I say y'all. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I just figure if the hair goes away, we'll just get a wig or be proud. I, I I don't think I try that. I'm on so many different medications. That's what 
why my hair is thinning because my hair was like my um, oldest daughter's. Now, Melinda's hair is not as thick as the one that was down here. She keeps it real short. But Jennifer, my goodness, that girl had hair and so much of it. So, and Michael actually had really thick hair. And now he just doesn't have it on top of his head. But, um, and both of his brothers lost their hair too. The one I feel bad for though is my son. He's, he started losing his hair at 22. So, unfortunately, hey, we're on our last ruffle, guys. I'm excited. Um, unfortunately, and he kind of wore a bowl do, you know. His hair was kind of cut with like in a bowl stop. And finally, some of his friends loaded him up and took him to sports clips. And they said, you know, bud, why don't you shave your head? It's really thin in. And it is a style. A lot of men wear it. So that's what he did. And now he bought himself some long clipper shaver things. And um, he keeps it shaved down. He doesn't, he can grow a beard, but it takes him a while. Mustache, not so much. What comes in for his mustache is all blonde. Kind of got a really look. But. I only notice these things during hockey season because they have a thing like while your team is, oh, I've colored my hair forever. Well, I, this is what happened. The first time I colored my hair, and I did it, well, my friend did it for me. You know, I bought this stuff myself. We were out at Godfather's Pizza. We had just moved back here. Melinda was maybe two, three months old. And, um, of course, I had the older kids. They were in school. So we took the baby, Mike and I, he had the day off. And we went to Godfather's Pizza for lunch. And some little kid, about five to seven, came up and looked at me. And we had her in the uh, little seedy thing sitting up on the table. You know, we could still eat around it. Yeah. And um, she looked at me. She goes, is that your baby? I said, yes. And she goes, you're too old to have a baby. And small children tell the truth. So, I said, Michael, we're going to the store and getting hair dyed. And I went to my friend, Patty, and I said, Patty, you're putting this on my head. I'm too old to have a baby. So, really, I wish mine was had a little curl, but when it curls, it doesn't curl like I want it to. So, okay. I got all the ruffles on. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, look. Did I, yeah, I guess I did too Oops, sorry. I gotta learn this backwards thing. I don't, you know, I, I don't get the how to turn the camera. I do good when I back up the truck. And that's the only way I drive my truck. It's backwards. I, I put it into the trailer hitch. I put it, you know, and stuff. But I don't go forward because I would hurt somebody. Anyway, on to our ribbon. I can talk after we start our ribbon. I think I missed something somewhere. What? Dye your hair? Yeah. Some people, my mother never did. She, she, hers actually went from a real pretty black to a salt and pepper to a gray. It was very pretty. Anyway, I'm going to alternate these. I'm going to use the green polka dot with, I don't know, it looks to me like a Charlie Brown sweater pattern. And then I'm going to use the orange chevron. I guess they're kind of a chevron, huh? Then I use the orange chevron with this cute. I wish I'd had enough to go on the whole, you know, all the way around, but it was just too short, too small of a roll. But I'm going to use this cute hat ribbon. And the hat ribbon I know came from Old Time Pottery. I had so much fun there. Oh, I was like a kid in a candy store or going to Disneyland for the first time. I was like, oh my God. It must be about 4,000 square feet. I'm sorry, Sherry. I'm not really sure what I'm sorry about. I just know someone is sick with something horrible. And I'm sorry because I, I missed that part of the conversation as I sat here and talked to myself. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I'm going to twist these down three times. I'm just going to kind of push them in there in my thing. And I think we're going to do the X because 
And see, Laura, there's plenty at 12 inches. I would not have had enough ribbon had I used 14 of the witch hat. Pretty small. So anyway, and I am opening up my ties because they are so small. Sometimes I leave the ties closed when I put the ribbon on. But this time I'm going to um, open them. Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. I think I had a cousin that had that. Not coming. You think we're all the same age, Kristen? I like to think I'm the oldest. I don't know why. I'm probably not. I feel old some days. You know, I'll tell you what my age is. I don't care. People go, do you, I'm, how old are you? Do you? You know, I'm sorry to ask. I'm like, really sorry. I am 58 years old. Uh, 58 and a half. My birthday is in June. Far enough from the carrot, the government dangles at me to get there and not be dangling anymore and move it out for when it comes to health insurance and um, social security. But I don't know how old any of you are, so... In the virtual world, you can be any age you want to be, though. So you don't have to, to get up and walk and prove your stuff. I don't know. The virtual world is so different. In fact, it's so different when I said you can be whatever age you want. Well, my mind thinks it's 20. My body just won't participate in that. Um, but today... I love it when a troll messages you, you know. I actually, it was a guy, and I kind of tried to check things out. And I had just listed, you know, my uh, military line. And so this guy friended me, sent me a friend request. I could tell he was new online. I go, well, that's only different. Anyway, he was a two-star general, you know. We might be, Sherry. You never know. Oh, Gloria, no, you win. You win. But anyway, this two-star general guy messaged me. And, uh, it, you know, he just started out normal. I always, I'm always waiting um, for them to, you know, are you married? Do you have kids? I'm like, okay, they're getting on you again, right? But I only accepted this gentleman's because he was a general and I thought maybe he had saw the reads. Well, with Melinda being 24, people think I'm a little bit young to tell you. But anyway, so I just thought maybe, and he didn't like pop on Messenger right away. But then he started sending messages and he started the usual. I'm like, oh, this is funny. And some days I'm bored, so I like kind of like when I was a telemarketer, you just kind of mess with them, you know. Oh, really? Really? Well, this guy was a scam. Scammer. And he needed $200 in iTunes cards right away. Wow! A skydiving accident? I have to look. Hang on. I, I won't even go up in an airplane, so I guess I'm not going to worry about that. Yeah. But anyway, so it was funny because why would a two-star general at war camp overseas need me to send him I2 cards in the amount of $200 for his mission? I'm like, dude, do you realize that number one people of your rank usually aren't put out in the war field? They're usually protected more. And if you're a two-star general, you could probably order your own iTunes cards online. And if you're really on the secret mission, you wouldn't be telling a stranger. And he just kept on going and kept on going. And I 
finally I just said to him, I said, you know what, dude, here's the problem. You got the wrong thing on your profile. The gentleman on the profile is a two-star general in the Air Force, and he said he worked for the Army. So I had to laugh at that because I knew it was Air Force because my husband's retired Air Force. So I knew he was Air Force immediately. I thought, why does he say he works for the Army? Then I went and looked at the poor general's uh, profile. And it's right off his biography page, the picture. Okay, okay. And he's been used as, they always pick up his thing and use him as a scam. And I'm like laughing. I'm like, okay, I'll listen to you. I'm like, well, where do I send the card? How do I send it? He just wanted me to snap a picture. Send you the information. I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. But he hasn't talked to me since I told him he, he messed up on his profile because he worked for the Army. And before that, I mentioned he was retired because he retired last year. So I'm like, uh, why are you, like, in, at war, at the war scene, war camp, whatever you're saying, if you're re if you retired last year? Oh, no, no, I'm on an undercover mission. I'm retired. Yeah. It's kind of fun to mess with them sometimes, so. though. He's like, I need iTunes cards. I'm like, I need money. Send me money. You're a two-star. You can send me money. I'm sure you can't afford it. Because, you know, Ovid, I don't know if they're still here when, when Mike was stationed here when he was active duty. Um, they actually have a four-star general on the base. I don't know, maybe he's in Washington, D.C. or not. I don't ever pay attention to it. I just know it, it was funny because he, I worked, ran the video store on the base um, in conjunction with the uh, VX. And uh, he would come in to get movies. So it was be like, if there were people in the store, it would be like the white, you know, I'm sorry, the Red Sea party. Dude, it's really. Put my pants on the same way. Yeah, that's what my dad said. I, I didn't worry about it. I couldn't get in trouble. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, 80s music. I, I'm kind of a 70s music thing. Yeah, I, I was just waiting to see if he came back with any other good lies. And I already told Laura, yep, I think this one's a, a delete and block. It was kind of interesting. That's the first gentleman that's actually asked me for money. Usually they're just, you know. And what I like is when they, they strike out. Then they turn around and they'll wait a while. Then they'll try again. I'm like, ah, because one guy tries to play uh, dice with buddies and message through that. I'm like, just hey, let's play the game. So I have those little games because before I did reads, I didn't have anything else to do. I was kind of stuck in the house. However, now I don't drive my truck. It's way too good, but. My son's getting a new car, and I think I'm going to buy his Nissan, and then I will be independent again. I can drive myself. This is going to be hard while Mike's gone because I'll have to depend on Nick and Melinda. So I won't be doing that much. That's okay. I'll make Mike pay when he gets home. He's actually done a lot of good work here in the house, so I really can't. And it's so much easier to be creative now that I know what I have. I know she doesn't, does she? You get Botox shots, Laura? I never have that. How about steroid shots? Uh, never had Botox. I worked where we used to get a lot of Botox, but mostly for medical issues, you know, like for people that here. Did you hear the baby? He was upstairs screaming. I don't know. Hi, Charlene. Yeah, the baby was upstairs screaming. He thinks that screaming is fun. He found his voice and he can't scream anything that makes sense. So then he just screams. And we keep trying to teach him that you shouldn't scream, you should use your library voice, and he just looks at us like we're crazy. 
uh, I told him the other day the baby was asleep and he looked at his mom like, what the heavens is she talking about? You know? But he, he's starting to say words. He just doesn't do them very well yet. Like he can say Elmo and he can say please, but it comes out peas. And I don't have a TV on. Well, there might be one in the other room. I don't know. I don't know if Michael turned his off when he went upstairs or not in the bedroom. I think he did. But, uh, you know, Ryder says peas and ain't poo. Because when he, he likes to come and drink my tea, which reminds me. <coughs> Pardon me as I choke <coughs> myself. But, so we're trying to teach him. And the only way I could get him to say mama is um, to sing it to the bad boy sound. I have to go, mamma, mamma, and then he'll, he'll repeat it. So if you ever want him to say anything, you have to put it kind of in a song, and then he'll repeat you. He'll point to you when you ask him where you are, you know, where's grandma, where's grandpa, where's... Well, my daughter got her cat that passed away. She got a tattoo of her on her arm. I don't know why. That was kind of silly. Well, the cat's name is silly. But he knows that's silly, and he knows that she'll say, we're silly. And, of course, they have cats now, but none of them are named silly. And uh, he'll go over to her arm and point at her tattoo and say, silly. So, um, he's quite a little partner. But when he's mad, he just screams really loud, so he gets in trouble when that happens. So it's, you can scream if you're just trying to pitch your voice, but don't scream at me because you're mad, because that's not going to work. Don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Nick. What are you doing? You're supposed to be working. Now my son-in-law's on. I've never seen you. Oh, I think I heard. Are we expecting? Maybe that's upstairs. Couldn't decide if we were expecting. I was just talking about Mr. Wright, or I was talking about how he, how we're trying to get him to talk and not scream. I think tomorrow they're all going to go to the zoo. That ought to be fun. I'm sure Ryder likes the zoo. I know Mike likes the zoo. I think Mike's smoking. And, uh, I won't go because I just go and sit in the aquarium because it's hot. You know, I keep missing things. I don't know. I should pay more attention. But anyway. Oh, the Botox? Is that what you guys are talking about? I'll tell you what, I have so much other stuff cut and replaced and taken out that I think I'm the bionic lady. Really? Well, that probably works. I told... Uh-oh. No, that's right. Somehow they, I thought they would be opposite, but they're not. Oh, well. Be. I told Michael I'm going to be one more surgery and I'm going to be the bionic woman. Because now they're talking about, I thought I had a pin pop in 212, but I guess what I had was an arterial pop. Or they did the arterial artery at my stomach. They gave me a plastic one, PVC, PCV, whatever. I don't know what it is really, but they put a new one in. From like here like right under your breastbone all the way down to my groin area where it goes down and I guess it splits off. Anyway, so after they did my other surgery and got more circulation, I realized my feet, my left foot, was killing me. So I went to the pain doctor. I mentioned it to her. She told me to go to a foot doctor. So I went to a foot doctor. He said it wasn't his problem. Go to the vein doctor. So, um, I went back to the vein doctor and they did a Doppler and she says, well, I don't know if this would keep the pain because she says, I can't see what's happening there being from the vein, but 
Uh, we probably need to do a fem pop because we're actually going to have this arterial pop or whatever. And I'm like, well, can I just like live with the excitement of being able to, to breathe and stuff? A size 12? That's exciting. Thank you. I liked it too. I got it at Old Time Pottery. I should have picked up more. But you know, my son was kind of rushing us through and he was getting tired of being there. So I, you know, Michael and I decided we would save our money because it was expensive. And um, so, and we'll go back down just to him and I because he had, was having fun too. He had lots of things he liked. We were buying signs and just like, this one works, this one works. I'm like, no, no, no. And then I hadn't even gone to the floral, or the floral department. I said, thought I'd do that at the end, you know. So I'd gone over and I just found a little bit of the deco and the ribbon. And Lee's like, no, it's all over by the floral. Oh, my God. I was excited. And I spent even more money. It's like, uh-oh. And Sean's like, don't buy anything else. Don't buy anything else. Don't buy anything else. I'm like, Sean, please. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time to put on everything. Of course, it did take me quite a while to make that Air Force uh, brief I made because I just really took my time on it. I felt like I needed to rest. I just stopped for a while. Watched some TV, played some games. So it was kind of funny. So I was like, are you ever going to finish that? I go, oh, I don't know. And then he took all the pictures. And then we had bad weather for a couple of days. Rain and any sunshine. I'm like, oh, we need sunshine. And I still got to get him to get out there and get pictures. Thank you. You know, sometimes I, I do find cute ribbon and buy it. I'm getting better at ribbon. I'm serious. Because like I said, I didn't use it. I, my first trees had no ribbon whatsoever. Because it didn't matter wired, unwired, what I did with it. I think the very first one is I, I made uh, Nick a Philadelphia Eagles ring. And I did use uh, ribbon on that. But I didn't know to always buy wired. So my football ribbon, one of them was a girls game and not wired. So I figured, well, what the heck. If it doesn't want to play with me, I'm just put and I just put glue on it and stuck it where I wanted it. Nick like the wreath. I hope he's still here. But so anyway, I'd like to get a couple of these and a couple of fall done, but. I don't think it's going to happen. It's only have uh, this Saturday. Yeah. So supposedly uh, two weeks from tomorrow. I haven't heard back from them. That's why I say supposedly. We're doing the farmer's market in Bellevue. And uh, mostly going just to, I don't even, you know, I have no expectations. I just want to go and get my name out there. So what's better than going to the city's farmer's market? And it's a decent price event because there's one I want to do in October and it's a lot more expensive. So I thought, well, you know, this gets it out there. Oh, by the end of the month? Oh, I kind of, I mean, I like custom orders and all, but I, I'm kind of fond of being able to create what I want when I want. So if I don't want, then I don't have to. You mean like Christmas ones or you don't have a lot of holiday ribbon in Christmas? Or I have a ton of garbage. Like I said, I bought on clearance last year. So I get all excited when I see all the pretty colors and I'm pretty much out of all of my, I like to, to uh, decorate during the holidays in the teal color. 
So I buy a lot of the, in fact, my the one thing I'm going to do someday is I'm going to make myself a wreath. I'm going to make a peacock one. And just now finding, I still know there's some bad spots somewhere because I haven't found all my peacock accessories. I bought a couple feathers. I've got a bird. I bought mesh. You know, I've got some ribbon, but I can't find it all. So I know he's still got a few boxes or bags like it's hidden. Of course I yelled at him because I thought he'd lost my I bought a cute little pair of flip flops at the Dollar Tree just because maybe someday I'll want to do a pair of flip flop flip flop one uh, rip, uh, wreath and um, you know for a dollar. Okay I'll try it. And they were cute though because they were flip flops but their uh, sole you know, the sole inside the flip flop had uh, pineapples on it. You're only 40 miles. Oh, wait. I said Bellevue. Yeah, I'm in Bellevue, Nebraska. I'm, I'm right by Omaha, if that makes any sense. I didn't even play to do this one. I don't know why. Um, because I did dovetail all of these ones. Oh, Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers. That's, is that in the middle of Florida? We were by, um, Tyndall Air Force Base. I heard Fort Myers. I don't remember if it was on the, it's funny because since I was down in, uh, Florida for all that time, I'm watching the TV, some of the, I hear cities, What, Panama City? It's Gulf Coast. Right? We were on the Gulf side. It's right by, uh, what is that place everybody wants to go? Destin? Destin, Florida? It used to be Panama City Beach, where we were, but then it kind of got out of control, the spring breakers and stuff, so now they've all moved over to uh, Destin. Not very far. Actually. All right, look at this. I think we got all of our ribbons on. At least I've run out of ribbons, so I hope so. I'll hold it up in a second. I saw a fray. Can you guys see it? It's really weird. My uh, laptop isn't showing any comments at all. So that's what she looks like right now. Well, I'm going to do some. I told Michael I wasn't going to do it so he didn't bring it over. That I am. It makes it so much easier. To see it, to decide where to put things. If. No, I'm my camera. If I put it on the easel. Okay. okay. So there's the ring. Thank you. And what I'm gonna I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this yet, how I'm gonna connect it. Because I don't know if I wanna put the uh, ties on it, or if I want to, that's pretty bad when you start yelling at the mesh, but I was thinking maybe, and I forgot where that piece was, maybe we put the hat like there, and then I have this, like I said, little metal sign that I've got a manta mic from down here. I, I'm telling you, we're so uncoordinated, the two of us trying to get these on, that's why I, there's two little holes in this one, so I could use floral wire on this, and then I could also put floral wire down on the bottom, I thought it needed it, I'm just going to cut this off, because I don't want it, come on. 
groups. So, here are my thoughts. Thought we could put the hat like this. No, I, I'm not into bows yet. I'm getting there. And put the Happy Halloween. Uh, can you guys see it with my hands around it? Because Happy Halloween is going to be kind of hard to see, but like that. And like I said, I have, you know, I have uh, these little guys that I can, can put in G, various spots. you know, around. I need to see if this would work. They probably won't cover the back because there is a hole on this one. Hi, Patty Beck Barnes. How are you? I haven't seen you for a while. I might, I might put this on, but I, I think it blends in too much. I think we'll go with the orange decorations if we decide to put those on. I do have these little foam things, but I'm thinking... You know, do you ever watch Two Broke Girls? Because every time, I, I'm, I'm thinking, Lindsay Lohan was on an episode of that, and she was a bride, and she'd go, now I'm thinking, I want, now I'm thinking, I want, and I was just ready to kill it by the time the episode was over, because it was irritating me. But yeah, I, I'll have Michael help me attach these, and I will get pictures out of it. If, if we have no rain tomorrow, it's kind of cloudy tonight. And I'm thinking of doing these two things here, can't see because my uh, my laptop is going on. And then I'm going to take these foam orange colored things and, and put them around here. And I, you know, they had sticky dots on them. Apparently that didn't work for me. I think I got these from the little gal that think it came with the mesh and stuff. But the sticky dots must not, I'll leave it on there. I'll just use it. They must not have worked because all of them have sticky dots, however, yeah, they're not sticky and there's no paper to pull off, so whatever they were, oh, maybe there is paper to pull off. I'd still put a piece of glue on there. Silly me. Silly me. But I think that's what I'll do, and then I'll enter, I've got one, one spider that can go down in here, and one spider that can go up in here, and then I can fill in with these, I got five of these little pumpkins, so... I guess I have, this one stuck to the purple one. I have three spiders, so, ooh, that really, that's going to make it hard. I'm going to have to think now. But I'll, I'll have Mike come down because he has to help me with the floral wire and stuff if I use it. And I'll probably, what I'll do is try to, I don't know, though, because with this being glittery, I don't know if the Gorilla glue will hold. I know that. I'm pretty sure the what do they call them? table tag holders won't go without something underneath them. Laura says dap glue. You said dap glue. I got it at Craft Outlet. I have, I actually ordered two of these. I ordered them a really long time ago. Um, one of those. Oh, I'm going to need this later, and I needed a few more dollars, so I ordered two of these, and I've got. I'm gonna. My box is over here. I have one box in here. I bought this one because I just love these old things when I see them on trees and stuff. I got to see how she works, though, because I don't know. Well, anyway. Anyway, I got one of these flat witches. Yeah, can you see it? See, I could put her on there, but I don't think it's as cute, so I'll... Yes, yeah, I'm still on. I am. I'm being terrible. I'm being slow tonight. What are you doing? Coming down to... Well, I'm, I'm done except for putting on the decorations and Dad has to help me. So. And I also, and I think all of this came from uh, Craft Outlet. I also have one of, it's like orange, goldish color with a big spider on it. That's a, oh yeah, no, no. She's not going to go on this street. She's not, this is the one on this street. That's what I, I, I picked out. I look like that. I have two of them. I actually have two of them. I think I have two splat witches for some reason. Oh. I'm going to make Melinda be 
Melinda's in here. You got a you got a green like this or the the um the splat which this box? Oh the web? Yeah. I have um I'm gonna turn this towards us. Melinda came down here to visit with me. Did you go to the yeah, I have this one. I have this one. Oh, that maybe that was one I was just showing you. I have a few more of those foam things. How many are you See, I've got another witch hat. And these, this is what I was talking about. These are the little, cute little, uh. Hi. Yeah, that's Melinda. <laughs> I call her Minda. Uh, those are the cute little flip flops I got. They got little pineapples. What are you gonna do? With Look, the there's a there's a spider on it. Yeah. Melinda hates spiders. What am I? I'm gonna make a flip flop for you someday. And then just for for she giggles, I got uh, these legs that I might use with the other hat. And what else do we have down in here? This is this is my uh, fall. Speaking of fall. Writer, they buzz, being buzz light here tonight. I guess they did. Somebody actually said they like this buzz your jam. That's the first time I've seen I have this buzz happy light Halloween. Too. I don't want to know. And then I bought two of these chipboards that I can paint for uh, to put bats on it. And I guess just the, the ribbon. I, oh, I also have some black chevron, but I decided I didn't want to use that. There we go. I didn't want to use that. But then I also have for fall. Some of these are fall and some of them are. I really like this sign. If the broom fits, fly it. Because I kind of feel like that kind of, you know, reflects my my attitude sometimes. And then I have this one that says, oops, pumpkins, apples, and hay rides. And autumn harvest. Because I've never done autumn ones, but. Bird, what? Birds? What birds? What are you talking about? Oh. Sorry, I was. I, I'm telling you, I got these. Now she said that would be cute on your wreath. Birds now, the happy Halloween. And she meant this bigger one. Oops. Yeah. I don't think I like it for this one. I think it's too big. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'll use an 18 inch. I'll, oh, you didn't type birds, and you didn't type that would be cute on your wreath. Birds now that happy Halloween. Okay. Where did I? Oh, the signs. These all came from affordable wreath signs. Um, they're online. They have a, a web. Oh, you didn't type that. Yes. I'm so confused, Laura. Stop. <laughs> I got these through a. These are the metal ones that come through a, the affordable, affordable wreath sign. I'm thinking you were gonna say this one says Happy Fall, y'all. Autumn blessings. And I may not use them all this uh, season, but. And then this one says Welcome to the Patch. I think those are. Whoops. Let me get it to the light. I can't wait for that. I think those. Are so cute. I can't wait to take Ryder to the pumpkin patch this year. It's yeah. going to be so much fun. But this is probably my favorite one. Uh, I see. If the broom fits. I really like that. That's kind of my attitude. If the broom fits, oh, I'm going to lose that purple spike. That's probably a good thing. No, it's not because then it'll come out and stick on you some other time and then you'll scream. Oh, look all my hair. Grab my hair. But anyway, so that, but that's what I'm going to finish those tonight. I'll, I'll get my glue gun out. I don't know if I'll glue the foam ones. Oh, this little, I'm sorry, this little spider just keeps, there's a real woolly. I'll show you. There's one unidentifiable. I, maybe somebody. No. Boy, those, um, those still haven't come. Uh, and the shipping says label printed, but it hasn't changed. But we'll we'll see. I'll, I'll update you on that in a little bit. These all came. I've had these for a couple of weeks. I think. When did we get? When did we order, Laura? 
I'm, yeah, I'm as much a shopaholic as you are. You know it. Uh, yeah, well, there's still a chance. What is this? Does anybody know? Is it, like, supposed to be a gourd? Thank you, Laura. Is that supposed to be a gourd? I, I don't, it's kind of a, I thought maybe a gourd. It's not, it came with the pumpkin things, you know, but it's not a pumpkin. I was going to show you, there's this really weird one in here. I have black spiders, but I know they wouldn't work on this. And little black bats. These were just in a thrown down in a bag. So I thought I had a, I thought I had one big woolly spider, but if I did, I dropped it. And Melinda will find it and scream. She hates spiders. Yeah. There's this little piece of net. I haven't quite figured out what that was in there. But oh well, I dropped them. The dog will find them. Lambo will take them and, and hold them. But I really don't know. Thank you. I think next time I might go a little bit stranger color than the magenta. I, I might. Really, yeah. Um, Danny did a really good job. Yeah, Danny. Danny, Danny does her hair yeah, too. Yeah, Danny so. is a friend I went to high school with, and she is an amazing hairstylist. She is, and she has really great ideas. I know right now it doesn't look like it because I didn't do anything with my hair. Yours is just like that. <laughs> Melinda keeps cutting her shorter and shorter. I swear, one uh, of this. One of these days I'm going to shave I it. I bet you have. I bet have you two feet. I'm. Chicken of the seas. I have no idea. I'm, I don't know what chicken of the seas was. Either. I kind of confused. Where's not, the queen? I don't know. I, I, I'm not beat at the cutest baby ever because I have the cutest baby ever. Uh, well, you said that. But anyway, those are some signs and stuff that I'm really wanting to work with. And, Dad and Ryder were driving. Oh, uh, you're talking about shipment. Oh, is it a mushroom? No, that's not a mushroom. It looks more like maybe it was trying to be a gourd. Maybe it was trying to be a mushroom. I don't know. I I just kind of figured it'll probably just go out there on the bench and hang out, and I'll just go, ooh, what's this, and then bypass it over and over and over. I did get out my little zip tie things. About, actually, what's really cool, you guys, about affordable resigns is that when you buy the signs from them, they will send those to you. Now, since those are... Um, Anyway, um, they're metal signs, so I just use a beadsmith and put a hole in them. Because I find that's just as easy as trying to get the cable tie mounts to stick. I do say the cable tie mounts, however, because I'm still, you know, I'm still bad. So I'm not going to get all these decorations on now because, like I said, I've had you on here a while and I don't want to bore you to death. Hey, you've been on here forever, Mom. Be quiet, Melinda. You got to love them kids, right? I know Jack came upstairs and he took over the TV. I was like, did Mom kick you out? No, I didn't. He was in the bedroom. There's not a TV on. Yeah, I don't have any TVs on if Gloria's still here. I don't have any TVs on, hon. I don't know what the back... Could have just been right or upstairs. And oh then, yeah, he's been he's been screaming. And he screams around. and runs around. He does his cardio. So, but I, what is right now. excuse me. Oh, thank you. You should like it. Here's your we talked about your husband What do you think? Nothing. He just popped on and was watching. It could have been. I don't know because I thought maybe Mike left the TV on in the other room. I didn't think I heard it. But I have fans going too. We have a lot of fans yeah, in really here, fun. and so it could be some of that too. I usually turn that one off, but then I get hot, and then I have to turn it back on during the middle. So, and I, he left the bedroom door open. There's like three fans in there. So, but, um, but yeah, I am. I think now because I've kind of worked out with other people that I like to watch and stuff, that I will be going live for a while on Friday nights and on Monday nights, unless something comes up. And uh, I, my, my moderator, which she's, she got kicked out, but Laura, uh, she's going to go live on Tuesday nights and Thursday nights. And we watch Ms. Lori from Hardworking Mom on Sunday nights and Wednesday nights, I think. I don't know. 
my phone just keeps sending me notifications and then I go watch. You know, that's how it is. So, but so I will be back Monday night. I have no clue what I'm going to do on Monday. I may, it, it'll probably be in, in the, well, I'm getting a co Coast Guard uh, cross to add to the military line. So if that comes in, we may do that. Or um, I'll probably continue um, uh, on the fall line. I don't know if I'll do a Halloween one next. I'm kind of wanting to get into uh, more of just the autumn. I actually have, I bought one of those, what do they call them, a cornucopia? Um, you know, one of those horn things. I've just been trying to figure out that. And I've also bought, I found a Noritake cup and saucer. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and got some forks. And I thought I might try to do one of those floating uh, teacups because I think those are really cool. And I found a lantern. So I have some other different things, kind of trying to diversify. Oh, that was a yawn. I thought you were going to say something. I heard, and she was just yawning. So anyway, um, but, and I'm, I'm going to try to be better at getting them, the pictures taken and getting them posted out to my Etsy and to the Facebook page. Now, I haven't been updating the shop now, or the pictures on my Facebook page, except for on the timeline. And that's because if you hit the shop now button, it takes you directly into my Etsy. Um, so that's where I, I sell them from is just the Etsy or you can contact me. You can send a message and contact me because if you don't, if I'm making one and you like it, but it's not quite what you wanted, you can always message and I can see if we can work something out for you or what, what you'd like. And if you ever have any questions, if, if anybody does, I'd like to know. Sorry, I forgot to ask that. But if you have any questions, you can just message me or you can ask me now or so forth and so on. And um, we can go from there. Yes, dear, I'm working on that. I, I fried my brain totally trying to work on Etsy uh, tags and titles and descriptions. You know, it's really easy if you sit easier to post on there if you sit down and you have it all planned out before you go in to post. And so I used to go in there to post and then have to go out to Etsy to the rank checker and stuff and do my thing. But I found out if you, because I had all four of those reefs ready, the descriptions, the tags, and the title all ready to go. <laughs> Laura can. Laura, Laura will lecture about that. Let me tell you what. I told her I've, I've got 100 pictures on, in my thing still waiting for PicMonkey. But then I kind of looked at what, what my photographer did. So he, he got a, a lecture and was shown again how I want the pictures taken because I'm not always with him when he takes them. And he was trying to be like a model photographer and he was turning them because I told him I needed 10 different views. So he was, some of them were laying down, some were almost upside down. I'm like, no, 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 no. Just take a couple of good pictures front ways and one from each side. I'll figure out how to make the different views. Because I do have a garage full, but most of those, to be fair, most of those are Christmas. And so... I, I will have those done and up by the end of June for Christmas and July on Etsy. I really will. I've got, I think I've got seven to nine coming up um, on the sale for Etsy's birthday bash. Like I said, it's, it's I, maybe it's the 19th through the 22nd. I don't remember the dates. What? Uh, the Etsy sale. Yeah, I'm going to do the Christmas in July, but I've got the birthday bash in June. And I have, I think, nine out of season uh, reads for you can get 15% off during that time. And it's the uh, birthday bash in June. Well, they have their birthday is in June. I don't know, 20 years or something. Oh, I thought you meant like you're gonna make people birthday reads. No, no, no. They, Etsy's <laughs> having a birthday in June, and they're having a sale. Okay. So I'm participating in that, and because um, I thought, well, they're out of out of season reads and. Somebody might as well enjoy them, get them ready for next year. Yeah. So, and then I will be participating in Christmas in July, and I hopefully will be making new Christmas wreaths as well because I have a lot of Christmas stuff, and I really get into it. I really like 
we do a lot of fern and uh, cardinals. Michael loves cardinals. I have a lot of cardinal uh, cardinal ribbon. So every time we see it, he has to buy it. And I've got a lot of the Christmas ribbon and stuff. Um, I might have to go out because I have used my supply of green and, and red for uh, other projects because it, it works, you know. There's February and July that red works in and the white. And the green works at St. Pat's and Mardi Gras. And yeah, so hopefully, I, I think I have plenty, but I might have to get 10 inch rolls. I've got a lot of 20. I'm just starting to really use the 21. I, I'm thinking, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, did you see that? There was a roll of death over there. Did you see that? Yeah. It was like orange and brown. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna let me see it. I was gonna like show you this. This colors. is this might be this might be I think this is fall. It's a foot fifteen foot poly mesh. Hmm. I have to think about that one because I'll have to make sure. But these I, I don't know, I'll, I'll hold it. It's it's gold, orange, and brown. And I thought that would make a, a nice um fall read. So I had it out and I thought I'll do and I like, no. and then I've got the orange and stuff. So but anyway, before I keep you too long and for you, thank you. Um, I also bought some really cool ombre when I was down at uh, Old Time Pottery. That I think it's pink and teal and I can't remember what they're maybe lavender. But I really like it. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to get into the fall. I, I think, you know, somebody was like, Oh, it's such such, you know, not pretty. I'm like, oh, I love fall colors. Thank you, Laura. So, like I said, I will get this up. I will also be moving this video soon to um, YouTube. I have most of my videos up there. I think there's a few older ones, but I'm so hilarious in the old, in the older videos because I didn't really know why I was doing it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> What? I, I still don't know what I'm doing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to edit a video. So it'll just be the Facebook Raw video. So, but I gotta let you guys go tonight. Um, I will probably see part, some of you back. Let's see. Not tomorrow. Well, I think every day but Saturday is pretty much got something that I'll probably see some of you in. So we'll see you again soon. And yes, thank you for joining me tonight. And We'll see you all back hopefully Monday at 6.30 and uh, I don't know. Maybe hey, we'll do another fall read. What? I might be able to be there because yeah. I've been off early. Yeah, Melinda might might come and take me. So we will see you. <laughs> Bye. You guys have a great weekend too. Hopefully it's not too warm. I'm hoping they're talking 90s here and that's kind of warm for me. But oh well, I'll just make a wreath instead. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. If you want it, I think... Um, I think Laura put the link on there if you want to be notified of my next lives. And we'll see you on Monday evening then. Everybody, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Mm,